on 31, we're going to continue composing functions. This time I'm going to use the table below and evaluate f of g of 1 and then g of f of 4. So I need to compose some functions. And again, all I have are numbers, right? This is a numerical approach. There's no functions or formulas for me to plug into. I don't have a graph to reference. I just have some tables with all sorts of values on them. All right, so the first one I want is f of g of 1. So let's see what we have. The first thing I want to do is figure out what is g of 1 equal to. Well, if I want g of 1, that means x is 1, right? Inside my innermost parentheses is x being 1. I would like the g value of that, so that will be 3. So this will ultimately turn into f of 3. Okay, now my new x value is 3. Let me track or head down to this row when x is 3, and then the f value is also 3. So in this case, f of g of 1 is equal to 3. All right, well, let's try g of f of 4. And you might want to start trying a few of these on your own. Like if I do one, you try the other before you see the video play out. You can always pause it. So let's see what we have here. Let's do g of f of 4. All right, so again, my innermost parentheses well, my innermost is x equaling 4, but I want the f value there. So let's go to x equaling 4, and I would like the f value. So that looks like it's going to turn into g of 1, because f of 4 is 1. My new x value, my new input is 1. Let me go back up to the row with 1 on it. And I would like the g value, so that will ultimately give me 3. So here I would say g of f of 4 is equal to 3. All right, so function composition when we're just looking at numbers. All right, we're going to try one more example with that, and we're going to do it graphically. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Bye.